grammar Nazi would definitely write, raise an eyebrow over this. Over the redundancy. Is it right to say irregardless? Any grammar Nazi would definitely raise an eyebrow over the redundancy in this word, but it actually exists in the dictionary. We know for sure the less in regardless already gives it its negative twist, or simply put, without regard. Or in the dictionary, regardless would mean despite everything. She couldn't swim, but she jumped into the pool regardless. Regardless of what people were saying, she wore the crazy outfit to the party. Adding the prefix ir to regardless is like adding a second negative element to the word. He's on a keto diet, but he had two cups of rice irregardless. Irregardless of the homework waiting for him, he played ML for eight hours. Ear being no or not and less meaning without are two negative affixes that you're adding to one root word, making it technically redundant, therefore ungrammatical. So, is irregardless wrong? Let's just say it's non-standard. So if you're particular about being grammatically correct, why don't you use regardless instead, now that you know why? Is there anything you'd like us to tackle in our next sessions? Leave them in the comments section below and till the next Daily Dose of Daphne!